Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Today we are going to be talking about telescopes, specifically the Cassegrain arrangement. This is a diagram of a concave mirror reflecting light to a single point here. That point in a Cassegrain arrangement is where the mirror will be placed so that it can then... So the light that is reflecting off the concave uh, mirror will then be reflected back by another concave mirror that's placed at the point where these light rays intersect, as can be seen on the diagram behind it. <laughs> this then focuses the light through another eyepiece lens which another observer using this telescope will be able to look through and see whatever the telescope is looking at. Okay, I'll have to say that then. Use lenses only that do not contain secondary mirrors and supporting frames, which would otherwise block out some of the light from the object. Have a wider field of view than reflectors of the same length, because of their angular magnification is less. Astronomical objects is therefore easier to locate using a reflector instead of a reflector of the same length. Reflecting telescopes are shorter and are therefore easier to handle than refractors with the same angular magnification. Have greater angular magnification than refractors the same length and therefore produce greater magnification of distant objects such as moons and planets. In summary questions, draw a ray diagram to show the passage of light from a distant object through a Cassegrain reflecting telescope. Show the position of the eye of the observer in your diagram and label the parts that make up the telescope and the effective focal point of the object. And remember, the homework I have set for you is in for Monday. Although I might, won't necessarily mark it on Monday, but you will. Or you won't, and then you'll have to mark it the next week. I think my calculator must be lagging. I really should get a new one. Maybe I could get that one pound one from China. It's got free shipping and everything. Let's brush up on some physics. This is, this is a telescope I made earlier. It's uh, made to view Pluto. Um, you can see this here is the uh, eyepiece, and just that there is the objective lens. The effective focal length of the objective is increased by using a secondary convex mirror. Therefore, the angular magnification is also increased. In a typical Cassegrain reflector, the image of a distant object is usually brought into focus by adjusting the position of the secondary convex mirror along the principal axis. The primary mirror should be parabolic in shape rather than spherical to minimise spherical aberration due to the primary mirror. This effect happens with a spherical reflecting surface because the outer rays of a beam parallel to the principal axis are brought to a focus nearer the mirror than the focal point, F, as shown in figure 3. In comparison, the parabolic mirror in figure 3 focuses all the light rays to F. I love the Cassegrain telescope. Yeah.